Well, karma is a Today I'm here to review this Batwing of the drones, Aventador of the drones, DJI's Mavic Pro. Before we begin, I'm gonna show you two images and I'd like you to guess which one is shot with Phantom 4 and which one is shot with Mavic Pro. You can cast your vote right here. result is yep Mavic Pro's camera is simply better than Phantom 4's and if you thought just because Mavic is smaller it had to sacrifice from the camera quality boy were you wrong its size a lot of people assume that this is going to be unstable it's gonna fly around with the wind the footage is gonna be shaky that's actually not the case this is ridiculously stable in fact it is so stable that they added a mod with a name that explains how stable Mavic is this is the tripod mode. As you can see in this mode, the drone flies really slowly. So you can set your frame accurately or fly indoors. Mavic Pro has 7 km range. 5 sensors for obstacle avoiding, has a 12 megapixel 4K camera, flies for 27 minutes, which is really good. You can use the Wi-Fi on your phone to fly as well. To connect to Wi-Fi mode, you just take this switch here and switch to Wi-Fi. Of course, the range is a lot smaller, but still, you can use it and you can use the gesture mode, which is a lot of fun. I'm gonna go to gesture mode and in gesture mode when you move around Mavic starts tracking you when you put your arms up you confirm to be tracked and when you put your hands together like this Mavic's light starts blinking and takes a photo of you in three seconds Mavic is really quiet which is one of the best sides of it because it gets less attention This is the profile mode. Let's see what happens when I walk around. It's flying backwards. <laughs> now let's switch to spotlight mode. So now I don't care about pointing the drone in the right direction. No matter where I fly it, the camera is following me. This is the regular trace mode. And in this mode, you can make Mavic circle around you. <laughs> this is great. It can even shoot in portrait mode. But they told me that's for um, that's only for panorama. It's not for people who film in the portrait mode. If you have a drone, if you're filming in the portrait mode, I will find you. And the remote folds as well. And this is an iPhone 7 Plus with a Tech 21 case on it. So it's a thick protective case and it fits into the remote without any trouble. The screen on the remote controller is very helpful and very visible under any light. Now let's try the sport mode. <laughs> ah, it's so fast. So now, let's see what Mavic can do.
I will be releasing a comparison between Phantom 4 and Mavic Pro. And if I did actually, it should be clickable right here. But until then, I'd like to give you what I think so far. This is what you want, not Phantom 4. This is portable. It falls, it shoots fantastic video. It is really good. It, the focus feature is just blew my mind. I'm so glad it's not fixed focus. I hate fixed focus. This is why I never use GoPros. I really don't like fixed focus. Let's talk about negatives. It would really suck if you forget to focus. I think Mavic Pro being not fixed focus must be mentioned with bigger fonts. I assigned it to a button, C2. So every time I see a scene I like to shoot, first I hit it, I wait for it to focus, and then I fly. When it's a countdown, when, it, when you have 20 something minute limit, you have to get used to it. You have to remind yourself that you need to focus. You have to focus on focusing. <laughs> you definitely, definitely need extra batteries because this thing is built to fly. It just loves flying. Feels like the gravity has less effect on Mavic Pro compared to Phantom 4. Please read the manual maybe a couple of times before you go out because when something pops up on your screen you have to know what it is and you have to know what to do when I flew under the bridge there was a notification on my screen that said would you like to land swipe if you want to land <laughs> so if you're not familiar with those screens you may think oh this drone knows everything it's probably suggesting something that is good for me and you can just slide and it will just land on water and it's not an event when you want to fly a drone when i want to fly my phantom 4 it is an event you have to prepare the bag you have to ask for your wife's help or someone's help i always have to ask for my wife's help Help. she has to hold the remote for some certain end it's carrying it's difficult with this all of that hassle all of that event is gone 